Hello everyone, Mon here, it's time for the final episode, final review reaction of Megalobox Season 2, uh, where they barely boxed once in the whole anime. Yeah, I remember last season where he boxed a lot. And also he was the main character, no Miss Mac the main character. Um, it's an interesting anime. It's been quite uh, it's like an 80, I mean I keep saying it's like an 80 TV show, right? Like you know, MacGyver or whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna help these people with their forms. <laughs> Definitely that thing. And you know the message and yeah so on. It's very very similar. Um, it's been a lot about Mac in the latest, completely almost omitting Joe, which I think is a mistake honestly. Uh, I don't know. It's a great storyline, but I feel a little bit. It's like I guess the point of the anime is like who should you who should you vote for, who should win, you know what I mean? Who do you actually like? On the same time, so it's a bit like oh, really. Uh, so um, I don't know. I'm mostly here to finally get some answer, right? If they are related, or if he knows Sheev, or you know, that's what I wanna see, right? Or if just a lot of foreshadowing for no reason. That's gonna piss me off. It's the back of Star Wars over again. Star Wars 8 over again. Okay, why did you spend all this foreshadowing if it doesn't matter anyway? You know what I mean? Because they all felt that last episode, like he's kinda on not going anyway with that. So that seems to be strange. But anyway, let's watch for an episode. Two episode. Three, two, one, and go! I think Yo is gonna win on this little. Yeah, I think Joe's gonna win. I think Joe is gonna be all like, uh, oh, I see what you did here. I think Joe is gonna be like anti AI taking it something somehow. I saw it. <gasps> oh my god, Hot Mom is back! Wow, oh my god, the MILF! Why did Joe marry her? Why did, he, why did Joe pick her up, man? She was freaking hot and thirsty for him. She was freaking hot and thirsty for him. I mean, that's the freaking, you know, Yo's waifu, come on. Of course, it's wearing Sheaf's uh, armor. Yeah, it's wearing Sheaf's gear. God damn it, pick up that woman, Yo! This she is, man! Freaking, forgot how hot she was. <laughs> I forgot about super hot. Uh, Freaking, uh, god damn it, man. But yeah, they're gonna fight, of course. Yo! Woo! Got his Yuri, got his Sandy, I mean, Yo has the whole freaking family back, you know? Got the sheave gear, got Yuri as his trainer, you know? Got, got his friends, got his son back, his Sashio is back. He got that maximum, you know, family power up. Uh, man, I got his wife, I guess, and son, but yeah, they're not the same, man. This is like two people, man. I think Matt will lose, though. But it feels like he's kind of going silly here. He knows he, he knows he's gonna go crazy by fighting. Like Mac knows his mind is gonna, you know, yeah, go like that, right? She's like, you're probably gonna die from doing this thing. He's like, but I have to fight anyway. Yeah, and these, you know, the rich people, and they're like, oh, he's gonna die, man. Like they know the truth about take right. And here he is, here he is dancing, he's like, oh yeah, gonna dance, baby! <laughs> here he is, like, oh yeah, gonna dance, gonna dance! Like, he, here's the evil dancer, you know, being like, yay! Did she ever change? Wasn't she always kind of somewhat honorable? I felt she was always somewhat half honorable. So, yeah, I think she's changed, I think she's kind of old for this. She's definitely a very capitalist, you know, caring about the money, but she always has some kind of, like, somewhat of a redeemable honor, you know, with you and so on. Like, she still cares about what is right and wrong, you know. Like, she wants to make money, but primarily she cares about what's right or wrong in the end, right? She has, like, a good heart deep down kind of thing. So, no, I don't think she's changed at all, because I think she's actually kind of consistent with her... Uh... Is she gonna realize that he's brother or something? See, he knows the hummingbird thing. So can we finally get the hummingbird reference? Oh, so you know my brother or something? Yeah, he's in sea. He's like, must be from my home country or something. But Joe's also probably from that country. Because, yeah, okay, another guy. He's a cool thing here, but yeah. But Joe's also probably from that country, right? Because Joe's also somewhat a fucking refugee. I, I don't know. And I think we're waiting for is to see Mac going into his AI mode, right? Um, probably. Anyway, I am very exhausted open now, but I, oh, I went to the gym now, two and a half hours, I can barely sit up. 
<sighs> yeah. I think after this team we're gonna do the Scarlet Nexus version episode one. This game, yeah. So um I'm playing this game a bit now or a weekend, right? It's a pretty good game so far. I must say it's the best game ever, but I think it's a pretty good game. Nothing I have only one I only have one issue with it so far. I think it's kinda of annoying when they do the voice thing. And just the faces. But otherwise I think it's pretty good. But after this thing, I'm gonna do a first impression of it of the anime. So there's like a pre aired anime episode one of Scarlet Nexus, which is like the yeah, like the an you know, the anime supporting the game, right? It's gonna I guess add some more cat section one. Probably say most so check it out later on. See, see what happens. Uh, after this final year. Because there's no combat hands today, right? And last week and there's also no uh Gyro Bander Guru that ended uh, actually a month ago. We left it. Right. But yeah, I think that you know he's gonna go crazy from the Mac time, right? Macu time, and the AI goes crazy, and then Yo has to somehow defeat Mac time, right? That's that's that makes sense to me. From a narrational standpoint, seeing Yo be able to defeat Mac time, that is what I would think would be like the general thing, right? To, uh, um, I would say, I would say so. Okay, they're both dancing. <laughs> no, but I'm mean, like, goddamn, he ruined dance for me, man. Hmm. But we've seen so far, Mac is a pretty bad boxer, I would say. Uh, he only he only wins because of Mac time, right? So, yeah, he's like he turns around with Mac time. He turns around with his AI Imba stuff. Oh man, going for the old wound. Classic. She definitely the voice gonna go crazy. I mean, obviously, he, the brother, knows what's up. Yeah, I mean, he clearly is the smartest character in the whole anime, so. <laughs> and he's like, oh, I knew it! <laughs> he's here, he's so damn evil! He's like, oh, I knew it! Yeah, he's like, come on! What else do you do if you run a company? You're gonna lie about data, right? He's like, come on! It's how you run a company, right? You lie about your data findings! How else do you run a company? Like, <laughs> like come on, girl! And he's all like, mm hmm, 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 Yeah, twirling his mustache there. I see you wondering why she hasn't sold the stocks yet more. Why she hasn't sold the company stock for, you know. But he's, he's clearly like... I like the coach Yuri. <laughs> I love the combination here. <laughs> yeah, it's cool, man. Yuri scores back coaching you over. It's gonna get revenge together for Liu. He's an old man though, yo. Yeah, he's like an old man though. He's like... Dude. She's like, you're probably dying. <laughs> She's like, oh, you're gonna die, man. I don't date that. Yeah, what are they doing now? I mean, he... They all know he's gonna die basically fighting, right? Or at least lose his mind or something and go crazy. But it's always Megalobox is like... Uh, <laughs> like, oh, a boxing match? No, no, no. 
Vi är fokuserade på politics att jag har hört dig confessing in the drama on the side, right? Det sa vi sitt anime i spänning. Lite time on the action boxing. Ja, det är lagt. Oh, he's gonna monitor his fighting, I guess. Yeah, right. Just if I'm monitoring his data, right, during the fight, of course. Yeah. He just did the monitor, so he won't go crazy, I guess. But maybe he has a sleep up, you know. Maybe I think he's a sneaky guy, you know, dancer, god and evil tapper guy. I think he's like, uh, has a, you know, some sneaking strategy he's like, oh, you think that's the data? Oh, I like to her too, right? Oh, I always falsified her data as well. So she's like, this is the sign of, Mac like, no, no, this is the sign. I think he has, an, he, I think he has another way to actually, yeah, he's like, damn, he's like, yeah, girl. Uh, not really, but Charles isn't. She definitely isn't, because if you invest into a company and they lied to you, you can sue them. So like... Like by typical legality, you not ask. Like if I, I, I bought a company last year, right? Bob, shares of company, and they lied about their um, how good the car actually was, basically, right? So I can then they got sued for it, right? So I'm part of that. Yeah, yeah, like that's pretty typical, right? So you're not. Uh, she invested in his company, and he lied about the data. He can't blame her for that. Like it's not her. Uh, I mean, to some extent, she has more, of course, control and so on than a normal investor, but. She's like a main investor, she's the biggest investor, so of course she has more information, but still, no, no, no. Now I guess it's going crazy here though. But I think it's because, like, he's like, ah, 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 he probably lied to her all, all right. He probably lied to everyone about all the data. That's like a weird hit on Joe though. It's like a kind of weird uppercut that didn't connect with him. Yeah, he kind of went like this. Yeah, they went like, but they didn't hit. hit. It went like a weird thing next to him? I don't know. A weird uppercut or that. Sessio! Boy! Yeah, Kuchi Kuchi! Come here, Dad! Here we go. Can we get up? That's good. When his son is screaming for him, then he gets up, you know. Well, she's probably rich anyway, so... She isn't though, I don't know, the author doesn't understand stocks as well, <laughs> and company investment systems. She really wouldn't be. She would have more, again, right, she would have more of an insight than like an outdoor normal investor outside the system, like from, you know, typical share investor kind of person. But he still lied and fast for her, so in reality she'd probably sue him, you know what I mean, and probably would win, right? Like. Probably easily. So <laughs> with the brothers the information on, yeah, she would probably easily win suing him. So it, and she would probably then, you know, she might get some shit for it in public, but she probably wouldn't be as. She definitely isn't as guilty as him. I mean, she absolutely wouldn't be as, you know, as a par as a pariah in the, in the in the media. If it happened. Yeah, it was a fight, Joe, of course. Ah, it's that woman. Come on. Come on. You're guessing good, man. That was a good hook for you there. He's down. Will he maybe go mark time now then? Yeah, he's reaching the level though. I mean, when he goes down, he's going, he's going to go close to mag time. I think he's going crazy by almost getting down, right? Yeah, but this is what I say again. Why is it so much like it's always been my dream to fight Yo? Why has he wanted his whole life to fight Yo for? Right? Like, what's, why, why is that his dream his whole life for? Why did he dream his whole life to fight Yo for? Why did he dream that? Eh? 
The color breed, yeah, it's back. A very symbolic color breed, is anime. <laughs> My son! It's a lot about the power of the sun. Yeah. And it's Leo. First time you see Leo, yeah. Hmm, guess it's good again though. I feel like he was winning right there. Yeah, guess it's good again. I mean, I feel it's gonna go into the back time, right? Oh. It's like an elbow almost. He's just like focused, he's in the zone. He's in the zone. Yeah. He's just focused. I mean, we saw last season how they ended with Yuri and uh, Yo double KO basically off screen, right? And Yo was like, Chief! God damn it, Yo. Time to flashback Chief, man. <laughs> it's like, oh, I remember my best friend. Yeah, picking up his true best friend, the dog, and the wolf character here. Sees every now and then in the anime. <laughs> yeah, the true, the lone wolf, the true Yo's, uh, Yo's truly best friend. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Sash is like, oh, this guy. He never learns, man. He's gonna keep fighting. Yeah. I know how you are, yo! Silent Course uh, Nambu RPS. Ghost Nambu RPS. The throwing the towel. So yo loses because Sashio. Again, it feels like a kind of boring. It feels like a boring ending, honestly. Yeah, I like Sasha goes out and they like. The fight was really bad. Yeah, the fight was pretty bad, honestly. I just like last season. The ending fight is quite lackluster. I mean, I guess it's good for Sasha and yours. Rest sheep, perhaps. Sasha has a guts to call the towel, but. They didn't feel like. Mac won, and he didn't go Mac time either or something. It feels like a really lackluster, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, I Mac mean, was kind of like getting into the zone, but then it was like whatever. Like the last fight was really bad. Too. I remember I was disappointed I was season one, right? So disappointed in in that ending. And then still no relationship between how how he knows Joe or if he knows Chief or whatever. Man, that was a lackluster ending. I expected nothing else. <laughs> I expected nothing else, but last season it was like a double KO kind of thing. Off screening was crap, man. And I spent half the episode talking about the yeah the evil AI or something. The evil guy with the dance moves. It's way too much on her freaking company. <gasps> Licensing deals? Oh my god, we need so much money on this. 
She's doing this thing way too nice now. She's throwing away so much money now. She's opening up this tech for everyone. It's gonna like crush her freaking her life. Her stocks shall die on this thing, man. There is so much, uh, you know, licensee, so, ma so many patents. She's throwing away there. It feels like a really weird plot line that she's like this super nice woman now saving the city or saving people with Medicine. And he is. He barely lost something? I don't know. Here we go. Yeah, here you go. He, he's exposed for falsifying what data and so on. So I guess he got like. I don't know. Lost his job or something. <laughs> like, I guess the evil dancer bastard like lost his job or something. He should probably go to jail for falsifying all the data and, uh, you know. Having Mac and all people at risk and so on, so he'd probably be very illegal, but <laughs> it's like maybe he got arrested. It's like, ugh. Now oh, she gets to be the new boss because she's like retiring. Yeah. Then they have the episode focus on her on her part, but I feel it's like so little build up for that. It's too little build up on her as a character, I feel, in this season. I don't know if it's quite, the also feels so unnecessary. So was that? I don't know, man. What a weird last episode. What a weak last episode. What a weird old like last episode. Yeah, finally sad show is like, get the wrench, boy. Take the wrench, right? It's like, back to being a tinkerer mechanic boy. This place is always our home. It's like, yeah. Don't worry, guys. I'm your dad for all this now. Oh, I don't need me to play <laughs> like it's sundering. I don't care. Yeah, the I don't care about you, yo. Mm -hmm. That's a good uh, sundering scene. Then a bunch of other orphan kids or something. Yeah, then I guess a bunch of other kids we never saw before or whatever, yeah. I guess she's like, well, I'm retired now, so I'm just gonna drive around and <laughs> with my kids. <laughs> I guess she's like, I'm retired now, but I'm a multimillionaire, I'm gonna drive around in my van or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like a really weird. Oh my god! Pick up the hot. Come here, we go. You also gotta pick up the hot babe, right? He has to pick up the freaking here she is. You also pick up the hot mom, right? Here she is. Come on. He's been waiting for you to pick up the hot meal fries. I guess me, of course, is like you know, all so guilty, right? He's like sitting there at sheet's grave, doing color breeze. With all that foreshadowing that Sheaf and the or something and new Mac. That I was completely lost in bottom. And those cops guys, I guess, are Max's best friends for life to me. Yeah, they appeared in one fight and one episode, now they're, living, now they're living in this place. And then we see Lee, of course, training. I guess she's trying to, I don't know, fix this stuff as some kind of researcher on school or something. Yeah, I guess she's some kind of. Professor or something now. Man, I wanna see Yogo and pick up the hot woman, man. Come on, couldn't Yo get laid? Come on. Since the tree's gonna be sash of being a mechanic. <laughs> Since the tree's gonna be sash of being grown up. Mechanical stuff, yeah. I want even less fighting. So we call making the most since the tree is gonna be about sash of being an engineer. It's gonna build new st new stuff and we'll never see anyone box. But it's gonna build boxing gear. Like that's gonna be next season. Oh my god, Sash gets his freaking bite, man. What is the yo doing man? You can't give the boy your uh, your freaking lone wolf bike, man. How, how is Yo gonna be the nomad now when he has an ugly car, man? It doesn't make any sense. Oh my god. That is not as cool anymore, Yo.
Man, they always have this. <laughs> they, they, both of them have this constant, you know, illusion of Nambu being with them. Yeah, Coach Nambu, old man being there with them. <laughs> that's nice. That's Nambu. Okay, that was nice though. That's a nice touch though. Nambu sitting back of the truck and yeah, and drinking. That was a nice touch, okay. That was, that was a nice goose. I got the like, goose bump on the last scene, there, seeing them sitting there drinking in the back of the pickup truck, okay. That was nice. That was a nice touch. But I still wanna see yo pick up the hot mom, you know. Like, what's happened to anime? <laughs> like, come on, man! Can yo have some fun, man? Can yo get laid? Um, that was a really weird final episode, honestly, I think. That was like a weird final episode. I mean, I mean, have to focus on uh, you know her like getting I don't know, losing her job too, but she's like super wealthy. She's like whatever. I'm gonna raise my kids now and just you know be like a mom with this pickup truck or something. She's like a yeah, well, I guess, yeah. She should be like a home stay at home mom. Like it's just a weird episode. Holy shit, man! People are gonna say it's the best episode ever or something, but come on, I don't think it's a very good episode because half the episode focusing on this thing, right? Her. Defeating the evil dancer guy, kind of assuming maybe he's in jail or something, right? But it's not very, it's, it's pretty bad written. This whole thing is bad written. It doesn't make any sense or reactions and so on, right? From like an actual business standpoint. And just legality, how it usually is, doesn't make much sense. And so on. And like, we really asked to blame, no, you aren't, because he lied to you, so you'll be less to blame and so on, right? So nothing of that actually has any basing on reality, right? To most of it, but but anyway, let's ignore that. It's all it's too less dramatic. So the issue with that, I think, is that it's not realistic the way it plays out. But I would honestly prefer if it was more, you know, crazy, right? More crazy, even less realistic, so that it could be more dramatic and more cool and so on. Instead, it's just like it's just kind of it's kind of boring. Yeah, it's kind of mundane, and it's not it's not it's not overly unrealistic either. It's kind of like not as realistic as it could be, and it's just kind of mundane. Then I would rather have it being, you know, played it straight, but then be very, very realistic, but then also be boring, right? But not, not just kind of boring and yet not be perfectly realistic. It's just kind of weird. Uh, so half the episode is kind of like that, right? And this is feels so uninteresting. And um, so it's actually a boxing fight. And then we still didn't have the conclusion of some of the characters. Like, Yo was going to go back to Sheaf, right? Going back to my castle, right? It's going to meet, you know, the hot mom. Yeah, Yo is like going back to the place, right? Yo, of course, it's going back to, you know, freaking, you know, super hot, you know, woman he met, right? And like, man, she got the oppas, right? And so on, and yeah, he's driving to her place, and then it ends before he gets there. So that's kind of boring, right? I'd rather see him hug her or something, so I can, like, imagine that Joe's gonna smash something, you know? Uh, so if it's a little lame on that point, too, couldn't Joe get laid in the end, you know what I mean? Come on. Um, no, but there was way too much time on this guy, and the payoff is so weak. The problem is that the payoff is just so weak too, right? Like he had much more, he had way more screen time and just kind of a boring payoff on the whole evil corporation thing, yeah. The evil corporation thing ended very poorly, I would say. It's just like, he does his dance moves and he's all like, yeah girl, you're gonna betray me, you know? But it's just kind of boring. She's just kind of like, oh, I just did this thing, it's gonna happen, oh, whatever. Like it's, it's played quite mundane, right? Super mundane. I have that sort of stuff. That thing was really badly, badly done. Uh, anyway, the other part of it is a fight, right? And then the fight, it was like last season, ended with a very really lackluster ending. <laughs> Honestly, I think the episode was really bad. Generally, a pretty bad... Um... It's like, I like the ending the most, probably, when they're all just kind of relaxing, and she's getting there with her, her kids, you know? Yeah, she's like, I'm a mom now, I'm gonna just raise my kids. Yeah, like, she, you know, she comes in with her van. Like, oh, I'm a like, stay-at-home mom now, it's gonna be awesome, like that. I think the problem I like the most, because I do like the Sashio trust towel, though. In one way, I do like it, though. It gives you that, you know, Sashio character growth and so on. And Yo and etc. So, in, in one way, I like it. But the actual fight doesn't fit very good. Like, Yo never had to fight Mag time, right? Which felt like that's gonna be the thing, because it's obviously his, like, power, right? And Mag, Yo never had to fight that. Um... I think it would be interesting if, if Yo had to fight Mac time and then Sashio would throw the towel before Yo pushed it too much and so on. He throws it before now, so it fits this kind of lag cluster. Because even if I'm, I'm not saying that Yo should beat Mac time, I'm not saying that Yo should get killed by Mac time, but I felt it would be more interesting if you know Yo had to try to defeat Mac time somehow, right? 
and then dance. Tash is like, no, yo, you gotta leave, you know, travel, so on, yeah. No, you threw the towel before that, kind of before you got to the money, yeah, kind of before you got to the finish line. It's kind of like he threw the, the towel just before we got to see Mac time, right? before we get to see the actual drama, the actual fight, I mean. It's kind of like a weird, it's like we used to get into the climax and then we jumped off the cliff just before that. And this is like, it feels really weird, very black last ending. He has some good scenes in it, but it's, I mean, I do like Sasha did do the towel, though. I really like that. I just feel it should have been like maybe two, three minutes later, right? I feel the episode should have been a lot more of them fighting. And then it should have been, you know, he going mag time, yo trying to win your mag time, yo probably not gonna win your mag time, but maybe gonna win your mag time. And then Sasha does the towel and, you know, yo loses, right? Even though he probably would have won because he was like figuring it out, you know. I think that would have been way better, yeah. Like, and of course, by doing that, you have to spend less time on the evil corporation stuff. That is really boring anyway, and even well written. That could have been ignored, basically, right? So it's, it feels like a really weird last episode. It feels very like last, very reminiscing of season one, that also had a really bad ending. So it's very similar to that in quality, honestly. I'm pretty gonna say this is a masterpiece because they managed to not go with a typical cliche route. They didn't even do a proper fight and so on. But I just feel like they are. I mean, the thing is that I'm, I don't mind overly much that they are replacing the fight with this side drama. I don't, I don't mind that because the season has been so much side drama, you know, more than actual fighting. So I don't mind that. This is just side drama. This episode was really boring, right? It's a pretty mundane, lackluster, boring side drama. The corporation or side drama it doesn't really add much to the storyline, or doesn't, it has no twist, there's no interesting plot, no interesting catch, it doesn't really. So it's just kind of like, oh, they replaced the fight with boring drama on the side, it's just boring, and then it's over. You know what I mean? Like, it just feels like nothing really happens this episode. Really weird, very weak ep last final episode. Um, I don't want to say about that. Disappointing, honestly, even though I had low expectations given how bad season one ended. But then that also ended miserably weak, so that's like pretty crappy. But uh, yeah, this was actually worse. That was gonna be straight up right? because again, they should have had more time on the fight, or then on a more climatic side drama, right? With the corporation, with the business stuff. But it was just so boring. So it's just kind of oh, this is a half episode. It's boring business stuff that is boring. Oh, great. So no, I think it was a bit bad, bad final episode. Megalbox does it again, yeah, mundane, lackluster finisher.